Hello everybody, today I have this 2020 Ferlander Cascadia and today I'm going to show you how to activate the high idle feature. In this case, this Cascadia doesn't have the idle, high idle feature for some reason didn't come from factory. But we can activate it always with the DDL software. So the reason why um, I'm telling you because sometimes you need idle so you wanna go to the menu and then you wanna select idle and with the steering wheel controls you are going to control how you want the idle speed to be high or low and um, that can be done only if your truck is programmed to do that feature. In this case, this Cascadia right here if we scroll to the menu, which is this one, where the truck, you see the little truck, this truck right here, that is where the idle control is supposed to be. So we go all the way down, but we don't have options. See, we don't have the option for vehicle, I mean, engine speed in idle. So today I'm going to show you that. For that, we're gonna need the DDL software, as I said before, and the adapter to connect the interface to connect the vehicle to the DDL software computer. Keep in mind that this programming can be only done with a DDL software that has the highest level of programming. If you have a DDL software that doesn't have the highest levels of programming, you won't be able to do it because the settings are a little different um, versus the old type of Cascadias. In this case, you can see this is a 126 Cascadia. So that's the reason what I say. For 125 Cascadias is completely different for the older Cascadias to, I mean, the from 2011 to 2016, since 17, there is only 18 still, but let's go and work for it. So uh, we are already connected. What we have to do is come all the way down to parameters right here, click on parameters, and we're gonna have all those parameters. If you have all the all Cascadia, that option is going to be right here. But in this case, is no longer the way you are going to program it. So we have to go back to all parameters right here. And we have to go down all the way to instruments cluster, which is the ICU. So let's scroll down, all the way down. Let's continue until you see instrument cluster, which is ICU in abbreviation. Let's see, let's go down. All right, there, see? ICU, this one. So on this one, we're gonna go down all the way. Let's go down all the way until we get to this one right here, the PID zero times 43. On that one, we're gonna click on the plus sign over here and we're gonna go down to this option right here. See, parameter idle speed, it says no available. And you have the description idle speed, which is obvious. So we are going to program it. So all we have to do here is click and do one, which is available. Click on it. And that's pretty much it. So now we are going to do send over here. When you click on send, you're gonna see in the dashboard is going to get, oh, I have to do, okay, over here. Okay, so you wanna see it in the dashboard, it's gonna go dark and then it's gonna go back to activate it to own position because that's the way to reset the system. So now we have the option completely available, you can see. So this is the option. Well, now click on it. Okay, so now we can see that we have an extra slot over here than we didn't have before. So we go down with the scroll right here. And now we have the option idle adjustment. So if we start the engine. Now I'm gonna do okay. Okay again. 
and we can increase the speed. See? So that is the way you are going to activate this option. This is the only way you are going to do it. So um, the reason why I said before that you need that DDL software capable to connect to the ICU is because not all DDL softwares are capable to do. So, so that's the reason why you need to have the highest level of programming because if you get just the regular DDL software professional, you are not going to be able to connect to the ICU. You will be able to connect to different other uh, parameters, but you're going to be able to program the idle speed. So this is how easy it is. I know many of you are going to have problem finding what is the parameter that you have to change in order to activate the idle speed. But I am showing you here how easy it is. But the problem will be if you have the DDL software capable to do so. So this is all I have to show you. A very basic video, very important information, very advanced information for many of you that know, don't know the parameter and for many of you that don't know how to use the DDL software, but pretty easy for someone that knows. So, any questions, as always, use the comment section below and um, go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube, uh, send support to my channel by seeing the description of the videos, I have details there. Like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.